Good morning, it's Tuesday the 28th of September and I'm back in the shop. Um, struggle getting myself going this morning so it's already 10 o'clock and I'm not really prepared. I've not got my blinds out or anything out yet and I've got a big pile of stuff that I got over the weekend. You want to see? So, there you go. There it is, all laid out. So I need to move it before people start making myself possibly the worst cup of tea. I, mean, I know we all like different gradients of tea, but what is that? That's just milky hot water. Ugh. Drinking my tea anyway, because, you know, can't waste it. Um, What have you been up to over the weekend? Did you get into any car boots? Or are you stuck at home with no petrol in your car? Let's not talk about that because I think it's quite a... I don't know. What's the word? See? Menopausal brain working there to its full. What I meant to say is it causes arguments. So <clears throat> I don't want to go there. It's hideous outside, like really chucking it down and dark. So dark. Won't be long and I'll be able to put my Christmas trees up and then all the lights will be all sparkly and shiny on dark days. Um, but first, today, I need to make some lists of things that I bought from the car boot as I get them out. So, seeing as there's no one around, I might as well show so you. I put the crates underneath these shelves behind my counter when I'm working on them. These bits won't fit under it. So there's a nice solid waste paper basket that I picked up. One of these cantilever um, sewing boxes with its contents so I'll have fun looking through there and then this cute cat basket I'm going to come back to that sewing box because it's got full of things so I need to go through it and see if there's anything of any interest so I've got a few bits out I'll show you it's all just bog standard stuff for the shop so I've got a nice blue and white ginger jar I've got um, an interesting vase it says Melbourne Crystal, never heard of it. Looks a bit like Dartington the base, don't you think? Um, weird sort of tulip bars. Um, I've got a little Hummel figure. She is chipped on the base, not on the actual figure itself. But it was 50p. Couldn't leave it behind for 50p. Uh, a nice crystal vase bit of paper mache wouldn't be one of my hauls if there wasn't a bit of paper mache look at that though isn't that glorious beautiful port marion a nice port marion vase a couple of teapots again wouldn't be one of my hauls without a teapot would it this is just a plain cream teapot it doesn't look like it's ever been used Nice big size and it's Price Kensington one and that's lovely. And then I've got a, a Typhoo, nice bright red one. And a couple more things before I get the next lot out. This cute little pot, look at his face. Oh, I better turn the lid round. Chuck me. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? Love that. And then a nice pretty planter. Reminded me of Port Marion. It actually says Kudos Limited. Not heard of that. But um, nice colours. If I like it, somebody else will. So that is the start of the haul. Still surprised that I'm getting customers in, to be honest, because all well, it has brightened up a bit. It's not absolutely hammering it down anymore, but it is still raining. Okay, do you want to see a few more things that I picked up at the weekend? I got this lovely Denby teapot um sort of powder blue I don't know that I've seen this color I must have done I must have done anyway I got that nice teapot nice big one this pretty little blue and white pot thought it was pretty I got this pair of candlesticks I say pair they don't match <laughs> they've got the same sort of glaze you see but underneath they're slightly different this one has got that mark does anybody recognise that? I can't work out what that's supposed to be. Um, and then this one doesn't have any marks, but surely they're made at the same time, otherwise somebody's just got an eye for that sort of colour glaze. Um, if you know that mark, I'd really appreciate you letting me know. Um, I think they must be the same brand. 
I got this funky green vase. Can you see? Look. So while that customer was in, I had a quick look. And it's called Colonial Blue, that light blue Demi teapot. So that's priced up and out. Uh, yeah, I was showing you this. Love the shape. It's really unusual. It's filthy. I don't know if you can see how disgusting that is. So that will have to go upstairs and have a really good clean. But yeah, I think that's something special. Um, can't resist a little money box. I mean, look how cute. Um, remnants of a sticker there. Can you see that? Beginning with A, A, R, something. To be fair, I've got a few. I don't think I've ever, I have sold one or two of these sort of painted ones, but not recently. So I'm getting quite a collection now. Um, a little sort of scent bottle in this beautiful green colour. Again, that needs a good clean. Has got a barcode underneath, so don't think it's that. So it's made in Italy, ten pounds. So um, yeah, give it a good clean, get it out. Oh, I picked up a couple of military things. I don't tend to even look at them normally, but I just thought I'd give it a go. So I've got this one, which is a Gunners Association and then this one says Royal Auxiliary Air Force County of Nottingham Sun does it say? Sun anyway there's that one they're like sew on patches those and then these are like cat badges I can't without getting better glasses on I can't see that one can you see that is that focusing that one, pretty sure I've had that before. And this one, it's a little bit broken on the back, but I still thought, um, I've got one chap who likes cat badges, so he might come in. Although he probably won't like that one because it's broken, but I just thought it was something that I've not had before. I'll do my research and work out what they are. Oh, and this bubble wrap, I've got a pair of candlesticks. They are marked underneath, so get my magnifying glass out I might be able to see that or can I see them now oh it's Vil, Vil, Vilroy Bosch what are they called is that right Vilroy Bosch you know what I mean they make china and stuff as well don't they so there's a pair of those rather fetching um yeah that is it for my next lot um there's still more so I'll see how much there is how much I'll do today some of it I might keep for tomorrow absolutely hammering it down um did i show you the bailey's glasses i got six um hang on i got six of those feeling the need for another cup of tea um a couple of other bits i got this sort of bamboo box guess where that's going yep yeah, on my box shelf i also got a plain Glass vase, because I've told you before, there's a florist a couple of doors down. People often buy flowers and then they walk down and pick up a vase. Um, I think I overpaid for this. I paid three quid for this. Um, it's an old Cadbury's tin. But look how pretty. So there's like, there's an otter, bird, squirrel, another bird. Isn't it pretty? It's worn a bit more on the top, but so nice. Um, did I show you everything else on here? Yeah, bear with me, I'll get some more things out. Did I buy another paper mache box? Damn right I did. But this is a special one, look at that. Oh, it even says on the back, handmade by Suffering Moses, Srinagar, Kashmir, India. But look how pretty. I mean, I couldn't have left that behind, could I? Keeper? Seller? Keeper? Seller? Who knows? I bought some camels from my camel man, although I haven't seen my camel man for a while. Hopefully camel man will come back and buy camels. <laughs> They're a set of three. What I hadn't realised is one's got a dodgy leg. He's got a dodgy leg, so he won't stand up. What right, if you lean him against something? But I've got two more. So camels, then I got this, Ooh. lie down camel, um, 
Russian doll. I didn't actually open it up and check. She said there's three inside, so let's see. Well, three in total. Yeah. So one, two, three. They're pretty, aren't they? Look at her eyes. Gorgeous. And then I also got this fishing scale. My husband wants to go fishing. There's an explanation for that. Ooh, nearly not with my glass bars over. <laughs> myself another cup of tea um it's not been as bad as i thought it would be considering the weather so that's good right what was i going to say oh, i was going to ask you your advice on that that pottery candlestick the mark i'll stick a photo in see if you recognize it i'm sure it might not be anything it might be a supermarket brand or something i don't know but if you recognize it let me know it's not even like it's distinctive letters, so I can look it up. And I know you can get Google Lens or something. I'm just not very good with technology. <laughs> um, sewing box. I thought I'd start emptying that out and having a look. Maybe later today. But I wouldn't put it in the video. But if it's interesting to you, what sort of things come in sewing boxes? Usually it's just buttons and uh, needles and odds and sods that have fallen off like charms and all sorts of things so if it's of interest to you then let me know and i'll stick it in a video who knows there might be you might find that interesting that's the problem when i make videos i don't know what you find interesting and what you don't all the time anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you because um i need to edit and get it uploaded so take care stay safe and i will see you soon